UPS man just arrived. See, there's this truck. UPS. Just dropped off my Jupiter. This way up. All right, well, <laughs> just throwing it around now. Let's see how well this thing is packed, all right? Wow, that's really poorly packed. Look, it just comes like that, all right? No, no, no insulation, nothing. All right, so let's take a look at this guy. Okay, I kind of feel something bouncing around inside. And I read somewhere that um, that can happen. The fans can come loose, so you got to open it up and you got to secure the fans. But as you can see here, you got the um, Ethernet port. And then you got the uh, connectors for your power. The fans. On this side. Look at that. Looks like an air conditioner. Alright, so let me open this up and then I will be right back. Okay, so I took it apart and I haven't even, I'm just moving it just for the first time right now. And as you can see, there's a fan out of place right here. This fan is um, supposed to be around this core. So, apparently, it came out of its little housing. It was just laying there, as you saw. So when you get your Jupiter unit, make sure your fans are secure. All right, just kind of seeing how these go here. So I'm going to attempt to um, resecure this, as I knew this was going to be like this. All right, so give me a moment. All right, that wasn't really hard. Actually, it only just took me like 30 seconds. This thing um just kind of snaps in right here. All right, you can see. There's a little line going down there, all the way down. And it just snaps into place on both sides. So just squeeze right here on either end and make sure they're snug on all four sides. Because I can just take it right off. And the little sponges here. That's good. So I'm just going to peek at these connectors peek at the boards down here. Oh, this lighting is not very good, I'm sorry. Let's see here. They said there was a logo on the chips. Oh, here it is. Which is not a secret. Um, come on, focus. The whole world only one block apart. D Walt, is that W O A L or O L? Can't really tell. Huh. Walk. All right. Anyway, make sure these fans are secure, and then I'm gonna hook this baby up. So see you in a minute. Okay, just a little report here. I'm I'm uh, in the middle of hooking this up, and I'm just running into some uh, conundrums of myself because I'm not a computer savvy guy, you know, as far as um, hooking stuff up goes. But I got the Cooler Master. This is a V1000. Alright. So you hook up the... Uh, I don't know what the hell the name of these cords are. So you, know, you just hook this one up to there. And then you have to put the um, paper clip into the 4 and 5. And I've tested this. Of course it's not plugged in right now. Because I'm just testing it out. Alright, so you, when you plug this in to here, I assume... That's the right. You can plug multiple things in, but I'm just plugging one thing in right now. I hope this works. <laughs> we'll find out, won't we? So when I plug this into here, you have to be careful to anchor yourself and squeeze it together. Don't just plug it in, because you might push this thing off at the circus board, because it's really tight. So be careful when you plug this in. Um, don't force force it off the circuit board, kind of stick your finger in and pinch it together. So these um, 
cords right here are labeled thank goodness it says PSU on the one side so obviously that's the side that goes into the PSU it doesn't fit on the other side anyway but you know so I'm gonna connect this guy this guy right here goes into these guys so I got four of those so we're gonna put this in there and uh, see what happens okay moment of truth here I got these guys all plugged in I'm gonna plug uh, excuse my camera angle I only have two hands here all right we're gonna switch this puppy on so cross your fingers oh look at this oh yeah all right so this ethernet cord is plugged in to my modem this is kind of a temporary setup because I really don't <laughs> I wasn't prepared for the so so I got this thing sitting on a cooler but it's all over the place but I will make better accommodations later all right so now the red and blue or well, I'm sorry red and green light came on I'm just so excited so that light came off this thing's blinking over here got some blinkage going on underneath I don't know what's going on so anyway, I'm going to try to locate this on the network and get the screen up, update the firmware, and get this baby hashing. So, uh, we'll be right back. Alright, I just want to show you an easy way, real quick, to find the IP address of your Jupiter. So, Netgear modems have an app. You know, obviously not everybody's going to have a Netgear. But, um, you just click the Genie, and you log in, and boom, there's the Jupiter. It does not focus in, but you can see it says Jupiter. So, and it gives me the IP, I'm not going to zoom in on this, but it gives me the IP address right there. Okay, so all I did was punch in the uh, IP address into the address bar up here. And, um, uh, username admin, password admin, no secrets there. Log in. And here we have the KNC Miner, uh, section. Now, I didn't download the, um, uh, firmware to my computer yet so I'm just gonna walk right through that so let's go to the KNC website and let me get that firmware I'll be right back alright so this miner is definitely a plug and play alright I just plugged these in I turned it on can and it, it just started mining because this is my BTC guild uh, I'm sorry Okay, major, major, major break breakthrough. Breakthrough. Drinking too many Heinekens. All right, so um, I finally got to see uh, a way to get the CG miner up here. Let's see this program, Putty. All right, in order to see CG miner, th this is something I like had to study and figure out. So I'm just going to show you real quick. So just um, just type in a Google search. Come on. Yeah. Let me just do this real quick for you. Just type in putty, P-U-T-T-Y. Alright, and you'll get this um, putty.org. P-U-T-T-Y dot org. And you can download putty here, so click click that. Download putty here. And then um, what I downloaded is, I have Windows 7 64 bits, so... I downloaded this installer right here, this purple one right here. Downloaded that. So when you open that, all right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to close this. I'm going to show you what to do because this is this is kind of tricky. All right, so you you open it up. Now it just immediately opens up to this window right here. So I already have my IP address in my clipboard. So I just copy paste my IP address there. So type your IP address into that bar. Uh, click OK or open. You might get a screen that comes up initially that says are you sure you want to do this. Just click yes. Now this is kind of the tricky part that I had to kind of research. So when you, your login is not the same as it is on the KNC site. So you, it's root. R-O-O-T. And your password is the same. So I'm going to type my password in real quick. Alright. So now it gives you this screen, this little thing that says Jupiter something something so you type in screen s c r e e n space space dash r too many Heineken's 
Press return and boom, your your uh, hash rate comes up. Oh, hey, camera. All right, so there it is, five five seventy seven. Ooh, look at this, six oh four up here. Oh yeah, what's up? What's up? I also downloaded the point uh, nine five firmware. So I downloaded all the firmwares, and I did them in the er the order that they were released. So when the one was released, I just downloaded that, uploaded that, uploaded that, upload. You know, I just did in sequential order as they were released, because I figure, you know, if they release it, you're gonna install it. So anyway, um, it's working. <laughs> That's all there is to it. So just give it some time. You know, later.